welcome to Poland Daily Culture. I'm John Carter, and on today's episode, we're here at Obvox Palace. So come and join me as we take a trip around classic Polish culture. Otwot Grand Palace in Otwotsk Wielki is otherwise known as the Jezierce Family Palace or Bielinski Family Palace. It is a historic residence located on an artificial island in an oxbow lake of the River Vistula in Otwotsk Wielki. It is the former summer home of the Bielinski family, all aristocracy from Chihanów County in Mazovia, who maintained a close relationship with the Saxon court. But the family heirs squandered the family wealth in the 18th century, and the palace became in the end closely associated with the Jezierski family, following the palace's acquisition by Jacek Jezierski. It remained in the hands of that family until the communist period of 1945-1989. The palace was restored and opened to the public as Interiors Museum or Museum of Design in Otwotsk, a satellite branch of the Warsaw National Museum. We're here at Otvox Palace in Otvox, uh, and we're in the main room. And I'm joined by the curator of the palace, Sanya. Welcome to the show. <laughs> OK, so first of all, tell us about when was the palace built and for what reason? The palace, its main body, was built at the end of the 17th century. We know that the fortified castle was built before that. It had a totally different function. It was a place where people could spend the night and defend themselves against invaders. However, Kazimierz Ludwig Bieliński started the rebuilding of the palace at the end of the 17th century, between 1682 and 1696. The palace became the summer home, the summer residence. Tell us about the inspiration for the palace. You know, you've got it's quite an original design. What inspired this? Bieliński, um, Kazimierz Ludwik Bieliński i jego żona z Morsztynów mieli rezydencję... Um... Kazimierz Ludwik Bieliński, together with his wife, had a residence at the Krakowski Przedmieście Street. They decided to build a summer home surrounded with a beautiful landscape by the water here. Razem, nad wodą. That's why the palace is decorated with things connected to the nature, both the Taipanium with Bakchenalias, but also decorations inside the palace are murals showing nature. They wanted the decorations to match. So the first family, the uh, Bielinski family, were used this place as their, their, their summer home, which sounds quite spectacular when you consider the size of the place. Could you tell us something about the Polish aristocracy at, at the time uh, this was built? Może w takim razie uzupełniając powiem, że obecny kształt pałacu The current shape of the palace resulted from the rebuilding that took place in the 18th century, in the middle of the 18th century to be exact. Before that, the palace had only the main body, which can only be seen only from the entry door facade side. It didn't have bed chambers and outbuildings, which were built later on. That's why the cubiture of the building wasn't that big. Of course, it looked like a summer villa where the owners lived from March to September. They were throwing a family but also official parties. They were inviting guests from the aristocratic families, but also the King Augustus II. Unfortunately, we don't know how the palace was furnished, because none of the iconographic sources from this period survived. But because we know what the Bielinski family had in their residences in Warsaw, we can suppose that the palace was very rich decorated with elements of Baroque and Rococo. We know that the palace was rebuilt a few times at the beginning of the 18th century. 
When the other elements of the palace were built, for instance the bed chambers, which can be seen from the garden side, we know that the owners lived here at that time. The Bielinski family ran a factory in Karczewo. Kazimierz Ludwig's son, Franciszek Bieliński, established it. The Rococo style of furniture were made there. They were golden, sculptured, elegant and rich. And we suppose that the palace was furnished this way. The couch that survived in the Vilanov collections shows how the furniture in the palace could look like. You can see it in the exhibition in the Vilanov Palace. Po kanapie, która zachowała się w zbiorach wilanowskich, jest na ekspozycji w, w pałacu w Wilanowie można ją obejrzeć. With the Bielinski family just using this as their, their summer residence, they, they were back in Warsaw during the rest of the year. And, and what were they doing and, and who were they? Tak, Bielińscy na okres jesienno-zimowy wracali do Warszawy. The Bielińscy family used to come back to Warsaw for the winter season. One of the reasons was the fact that the palace is surrounded by the water. It is a natural part of the Oxbow Lake of the Vistula River from the west and north side and a built fake canal from the south and east side. On the southern and southern side. In the palace, it was always quite cold. All this means that the palace was built on an artificial island. There was also cold and steamy in the palace. Franciszek Bieliński used to write letters to his guests, saying that he can't invite them because it was too cold. It was too cold, and that's why he put them in the already built offices. It had a lot of importance for... As the outbuildings were built, he could finally invite them. The outbuildings were very important when it comes to the development of the residence itself and life here. We know that they decorated with shells and sand baths in the outbuilding located in the east. Some part of it survived. It was discovered during the research in the 1970s. Badań w latach 70. Natomiast oficyna zachodnia służyła. The outbuilding in the west served as a kitchen, which had huge ovens. Some sources say that they were so huge that it was possible to bake two bullocks at the same time. It indicates that there were many festivities here, with participation of not only the family, but also politicians, ambassadors, and the king himself. And that says a lot. Także politycy, ambasadorowie, a także właśnie król ze swoją świtą, to już może na coś wskazywać. Thank you very much for joining us here from Otvox Palace. We'll be back again same time tomorrow for another episode of Poland Daily Culture.